Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar, Hello Instant Profitability. Uh, did you know you could automate inventory management featuring Market Man? What's up, Matt? How are you? Hey, Rev. Thanks for having uh, me today. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you. I want to give a quick thanks to Branded Strategic Hospitality for helping to promote and book this webinar, and also thanks to Gallery Design Studio for making the following presentation look absolutely awesome. Uh, on today's webinar, you will learn a couple of things. You're going to learn how to reduce your food costs by 5%. Uh, you're going to learn how to cut your ordering time in half. That's a five with a zero after it. And also how to ditch the paperwork. Let me tell you what, I hate paperwork. That sounds good to me. Uh, hey, uh, let me introduce to you Matt Hardoon. He's the head of sales at Market Man. Hi, Matt. Welcome today. Thank you for joining. Of course. Uh, in his role, Matt leads all growth-related activities, including sales and partnership development. Uh, and over the last decade, Matt has been immersed in the startup and hospitality world. Uh, me too. Welcome. Matt was Market Man's first hire in the U.S. after they relocated to the great place we need to call New York City. Uh, Matt brings a very unique perspective to the tech world as a former restaurant owner. Uh, make two of us. He closely uh, works with Market Man's restaurant network to consult on operational best practices for inventory control. Hi. Uh, you should know who I am. My name is Rev Ciancio. I'm a hospitality marketing consultant. I help restaurants raise awareness, acquire, and retain customers through digital marketing, social media, uh, and the use of incredible software. Uh, my personal magic wand is pizza. Um, I have more than 20 years experience in branding, digital marketing, and hospitality, and I've worked with hundreds of restaurants to help them attract and retain customers. Uh, now, I know a lot of people know me as a hospitality marketing influencer. Uh, I run a couple Instagram accounts with about 600,000 followers total and lots of delicious looking food. Um, uh, much like Matt here, I also used to own a bar in New York City, and I know exactly how hard it is to market and brand a location-based business. Uh, but today, we are here to talk about streamlining back-of-house efforts with automated inventory management. So Matt, I am going to give you control of the mouse here and the webinar, and I want you to take it away, please. Perfect. Thanks so much, Rev. I really appreciate you having me join today. And thanks so much for everyone that's watching this, whether you're in your office or you're working from home, depending. Uh, thanks so much for your time today. What I wanted to talk to you a little bit about was a little bit about myself, a little bit about our company, a little bit about market men, but really about how to solve any of these pains that you're having in your back of house. I think that it goes without saying, back of house operations at restaurants are inefficient and they're disjointed, right? Restaurants spend one, two, maybe three hours every single day dealing with a wide variety of different inventory related tasks. Keeping track of ordering, whether it's over the phone, via email, directly with a rep, it can be very time consuming. People are using clipboards, pen and paper, Excel, it seems that front of house operations with marketing, with cloud-based POS, that's light years ahead of what some people are still surprisingly doing with their back of house, jotting things down on the back of a napkin. Uh, the napkin. The fact of the matter is keeping track of costs, keeping track of updated pricing, understanding inventory where it might go missing, where it might get spoiled, it's nearly impossible. So that's what I'm here to talk to you today about, how we might be able to solve these problems with software. Right? So moving on to the next slide, we're going to talk a little bit about your core back of house operations, right? Inventory management, vendor management, and keeping track of reporting and analytics, that's really the main tenet of the back of the house. The thing about it is, is that each of these areas are controlled by different staff members, different roles, and maybe different systems that are not talking to one another. Uh, so it's the left hand not knowing what the right hand is doing that leads to so many of these inefficiencies and leads to so many, you know, the duplication of efforts, if I might say. Uh, so with Market Men, we're going to talk to you about how you're going to use a mobile app to count and wait stock, how you're going to use the online platform to submit all of your purchase orders, and how all of this is going to feed into some really great analytics and reports that will help you make better business decisions. So as we move on to the next slide, we're going to talk a little bit about how streamlining operations starts by really just controlling your inventory. Inventory is the fundamental building block. It's the items that we count. It's the items that we order. It's the items that we receive. It's everything that we build our recipes with, whether it's food, it's beverage, it's paper goods, it's cleaning supplies, it's alcohol, right? Produce. It's the fundamental building block of everything that we care about. Right, um, And I think a lot of restaurant operators are cognizant of inventory, uh, but maybe not in real time. I think all of us, when we first started our restaurants, 
had a static Excel spreadsheet to cost out each and every one of our recipes, but that's not real time. It's not mobile. It's not a living, breathing, iterating part of your business. And that's where Market Man comes in, right? Being able to use a platform to help source inventory, track price fluctuations, keep track of allergens, and managing even small portioning issues are, is really one of the foundational aspects to maintaining and excelling with profitability. So the ideal state, in my opinion, is perpetual inventory. Keeping track of inventory in real time. When something gets sold, it gets depleted. When something gets received as a delivery, it gets increased in inventory. So rather than using disjointed systems that are not future-proof, right? Notepad, the stack of a napkin, spreadsheets are really not tracking this at all. We need to be as automated and seamless so that we can have as many advantages as humanly possible. I think that it goes without saying, especially in today's climate, you need every piece of the puzzle to really be successful and eke out those few extra percentage points towards profitability. Yeah, man, and I, rem centralized I remember when I was running my bar, uh, on Sunday nights, we would have somebody do uh, liquor and beer inventory, and I would wake up on Monday mornings, and I would have an email with, like, this bottle, like, three dashes, this bottle, three dashes, and, like, and then the minute after that got sent to me, it was automatically wrong, because we sold four more or five more, and, like, oh, my God, what a headache, and, like, it would come Thursday or Friday, be like, oh, we're out of this thing, well, how did we, how did that happen, like, we could only do inventory on Sundays, like, what a pain in the butt, man, this is, this is speaking to some old back of house pains yeah. I definitely remember having. Thanks a lot, Rev. And, and I guess the goal here is you can use the mobile app to have two or three different bartenders take stock simultaneously. So that'll cut down time tremendously. And each and every cocktail that you sell, each and every pour that you make, it's gonna in it's gonna automatically deplete it from your stock. So in fact, you might not even need to count as often. You'll know what you have left in stock and you'll be able to track those small discrepancies. And that's what Market Man is. It's a back of house solution that provides restaurants, bars, hospitality businesses of all shapes and sizes complete control. The goal here is saving time, saving money, so that you can do more faster, right? So here's a little example, right? Nice looking burger, maybe not as nice looking as the burgers that Rev posts on his Instagram <laughs> account, but you know, the best that I could do on such short notice. I would eat this, I would all eat the, you're good. <laughs> I, I would eat it, I'm getting a little hungry. It's about lunchtime now, 12 o'clock, who knows? But these are all the internal components of any given item on your menu. We have bun, lettuce, tomato, pickles, onions. Each and every time your point of sale logs a sale for one of these items, makes a transaction, that's where Market Man springs into action. Because Market Man knows the exact components of each recipe. So when I sell this, Market Man will tell me, hey, Matt, you just depleted six ounces of ground beef and three pickle spears and 50 grams of red onion and two ounces of romaine lettuce. So it'll let me know what I'm running low on, when it's time to place a new order, and then it can actually prompt the reorder point and send it out to my vendors for me. So that's perpetual inventory, and that's how it works. And the fact of the matter is, most of us are already doing this, so why not save the time with a piece of software? You're still gonna take inventory accounts, except it's gonna be on your phone, like I just showed you, instead of on a pen and paper. You're still gonna submit your purchase orders, you just won't be texting with three or four different reps and going on two or three different websites. Market Man will submit the purchase orders for you. When your deliveries get received, and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute, you won't have to do anything and your accountants will thank you for it. As you sell items from the menu, front of house staff, they're gonna be none the wiser. They don't even have to interact with Market Man, really. As items are sold, they'll be depleted. And you can just, at the end of the shift, keep track of what was thrown away, what might have been transferred to another one of your restaurant locations, or what's spoiling. And that will feed this beast, right? It, it, at the end of the day, we're talking about a calculator here and we need to give it with good information. So in terms of the main features and functions of Market Man, what we're talking about is inventory control, vendor management, analytics, and costing. We're interconnecting separated systems, providing a unified solution that gives you access to so much information that you previously did not have. Operationally, the inventory control is gonna reduce the amount of errors, reduce the paper. The vendor management is gonna give you a one-stop shop dashboard for all of your purchasing. And then the analytics, you won't need to go to QuickBooks for one thing, your accountant for another, and your POS for the third. Market Man will give you all of your purchase budgets, all of your waste patterns, all of your orders, right in a clean dashboard view. 
So as we, we move on and, we, and I wait for my slides to, to register and move, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about how you can plan for profit with data. We're not talking about planning for your expenses. We're talking about planning for profit, right? That's what Market Man is, is all about. We're talking about using our cons reports, using our menu profitability reports, using your actual versus theoretical reports, which basically highlight usage and discrepancy. If you counted one thing, but you sold another, Market Man will show you what might have been overportioned, what might have been neglected, which what might have been stolen, uh, God forbid, right? Uh, so how do we calculate food costs with Market Man? Market Man sees right here what your total sales were, as fed in by your POS, what your total COGS were, based on what you've purchased through the system, and then what your profits are, based on the difference between sales and COGS. Of course, you'll also be able to understand ingredient by ingredient disparities and recipes within Market Man from your cookbook. So not only can you see what the cost of production is and what your food cost is menu item by menu item, but how much time it takes to prep, how much time it takes to cook. What are these ingredients? Are there any allergens in this product? And then for training purposes, you'll have really nice outlined procedures so that anybody can really follow them. The goal here is simplifying vendor management. And the easiest way to do that is by really not doing anything at all, just relying on a system to do it for you. So we allow for paperless vendor invoicing, automated accounting, OCR scanning. So instead of me just talking about it, why don't I show you what it looks like? So when a delivery arrives, just take out your phone and scan an invoice. Market Man will do the rest of the legwork. It's going to snap a photo of the invoice. It's going to update the quantities, update the pack sizes, update the pricing, so that when you get back into your system, your inventory levels will be replenished, and you'll have a running balance of everything that you purchased without really doing anything else. So let's talk about this in practice. Let's talk about one of our hero customers, Green & Tonic, uh, small multi-unit uh, chain, juice chain, specializing in smoothies, cold-pressed juices, in tri-state area based in Connecticut. Uh, and they found it difficult to scale without having a proper system like this in place. Sell additional units, grow beyond the three, the four, the five, the six. Uh, they weren't really keeping such a close eye on pricing, especially as produce fl prices fluctuate so rapidly on a week-to-week -week basis. But after getting market man in place after just four months, they not only discovered what their cost of goods were, but they reduced it by nine full percentage points. So, you know, Reb could tell you a little bit about running a restaurant, but that is not just a little bit of change. That's the difference between a, a successful business and a very, very successful business. Uh, so, yeah, we were terrible at back of house. So that's actually why I don't have a restaurant or bar anymore. So. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, and, and as we continue talking about that example, really, how did they do it? They did it by refining their menu, right? By taking a look into the POS connected with Mark and Man, they did a menu audit. They were able to connect the pieces of the puzzle and understand which, what each ingredient cost them what the exact portioning should be and what their margins were on each product. So now when they introduce specials, when they introduce new recipes, they have a full clear cut understanding of the exact cost before anything hits their menu. So based on that and based on nothing else, they were able to reduce the amount of time that they even spend recording and pulling this information together by 50% because everything was there right for them in the dashboard. You know, it's not just free and tonic and a small, fast, casual chain that can benefit from Market Man. We've been around for about seven or eight years now. We have a wide variety of customers. We're based in New York City, but we have operations in 22 different countries, uh, from fast, casual chains to hotels to full-service restaurants and everything in between. At the end of the day, the goal here is to control your inventory, automate orders and invoices, and just get access to real-time alerts and notifications. The goal is to reduce the amount of time that you spend doing manual tasks like ordering an inventory by 50%, lower your food cost by, I say up to 5%, because that's the typical result. You saw green and tonic got it to 9% and save hours per week organizing invoices by just snapping those photos. It's amazing. So uh, Matt, you have a, a special offer for people who are uh, interested in taking action and thinking about what this can do for their business. You want to talk about that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think that it goes without saying that the restaurant industry and kind of the outpouring of love from everybody uh, over the past couple of weeks with 
some restaurants not doing as well as they once were during this crisis. Uh, you know, Market Man wants to give back to that. Um, the goal here is 60 days free using Market Man. So set up comp, just get up and running using the system. The setup, the support, the implementation, that's all going to be free of charge and covered by us. We want you to put the best foot forward towards profitability so that we can come out the other side of this with best practices in place for food costing and for inventory management. So definitely give it a try. We'll walk you through the entirety of the process, hold your hand, and uh, you know, hopefully get you to the place where you want to be when you reopen your doors. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, everybody right now that's still doing, you know, uh, open for just delivery and pickup or, you know, whatever limited type services they have, you're running a skeleton crew, right? You're like, you're trying to make as much happen with as little uh, people and power and inventory as you can. This absolutely would help uh, manage those costs. And if it's free for the next 60 days, like, that sounds great to me, man. How can people get in contact with you if, they, uh, if, if they're interested in, in learning more? Super easily. Just call the office. 646-491-6815. You can shoot me an email, matt at marketman.com. Uh, you can also just go to our website, or I'm sure we'll be sending around some links so that you can get some demonstrations, you should get some helpful tips and tricks and tutorials, um, and you'll be able to get in contact with us pretty easily. That is awesome, Matt. I wish we had this when I had Idle Hand Bar open. We would have been far more efficient. Maybe it would still be open, but hey, this is really great. Um, if you're watching this webinar and you think this is interesting, and you know something you want to take a look at can you please uh below like and also comment on the uh, the webinar we'd appreciate that and if you really really like it or you have some colleagues that you think could benefit from this you can also just click to share it uh we'd appreciate that it'll be helpful to us and to maybe your colleagues so thanks for that also uh if you really really like what you learned today and you're sort of like the the theme of what's happening in these webinars and you're interested in similar discussions uh, totally free. You want to network with some restaurant execs and get your questions answered about hospitality, marketing, tech, success. Uh, we have a private Facebook group that is just for that. It's run by myself and inspirational thought leader, John Mark Shaw. Uh, you can just go to bit.ly slash rest mask. That's uh, B I T dot L Y slash R E S T M A S T for restaurant mastery. Uh, just go there and click to join that Facebook group. It's totally free. You can join right there again. It's B I T dot L Y slash R-E-S-T-M-A-S-T. -E -S -T. Join our private Facebook group. Thanks so much for that. Uh, last, hey, let's give some uh, likes and some thanks to Branded Strategic Hospitality. They are a micro-venture investment uh, solutions platform that le leverages an ecosystem of restaurants, hospitality expertise, and deep relationships uh, that connects high-tech, emerging concepts, and unique food and beverage with capital and customers. This is basically a tech incubator for the kind of stuff we're talking about today. Um, they might actually be how you found out about this webinar. So thank you to them. I also want to give some thanks uh, and likes to Gallery Design Studios. They help B2B businesses with reliable ongoing marketing creative. Uh, they created this deck. Uh, I've been working with them for a long time. They're super awesome what they do. They're really fast. They're really smart, really creative. Uh, I want to thank them. Last, Matt Hardoon from Market Man. Thank you for joining us uh, and, and explaining. Thank you, Rev. Thank you for having us. No, really I think appreciate it. Uh, automated inventory control sounds amazing. Uh, it's like having robots without having robots to reduce a task that I think most people um, hate uh, and probably do manually on pieces of paper. So that's awesome. Uh, guys, if you're watching this, you have any questions for me, uh, you want to talk about how I might be able to help you or some questions, uh, you know, reach out to me on this social network. I'm Rev Ciencio and all the others. Uh, you can also email me, therev at yeahmanagement.com. Don't forget the A. I'm sorry, the H and yeah, I don't know why people forget that. Uh, we also want to thank you for tuning in. Hopefully you found this to be insightful and you're thinking of new ways to master success in your restaurant business. Again, if you really like what you learned here today, uh, please like, comment on the page and share this with other people. Matt, make it a great tasty day. Have a good one. Of course, have a great one.